Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to properly complete the domain one for PowerPoint 2019 exercise labs for lesson one and lesson two. Let's get started. First thing you're going to do is make sure that you are logged in at www.gmetrics.net. You are going to click on courses and go down to Microsoft Office 365 and you are going to choose PowerPoint. When you choose PowerPoint, it's going to lead you to this screen right here. Now we're going to work on the less exercise labs for lesson one first. So click on the drop down arrow next to lesson one under the manage presentations domain and this is the exercise lab right here. As you can see, I've already completed it, but I'm going to show you how you can get your 100%. For you, it's going to say take test. For me, it said retake. So once you enter the exercise labs, you'll see this particular exercise lab for lesson one has five, um, five tasks that you have to complete. So for the first one, change the slide master color scheme to blue warm, set the effect to glossy, hide the background graphics from the title slide layout, and ensure that the footers do not display on the title slide layout. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get into the slide master view. In order to get into the slide master view, you have to first click on view in the ribbon. After you click on view in the ribbon, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to click on slide master in the master views group. So we're officially in the slide master right now. So what we're going to do next is change the color scheme to blue warm. So in the background group, you're going to see there's an icon and it's labeled colors you are going to click on the drop down arrow. And here is the blue warm color scheme. Click on that. The next thing we have to do is to set the effect to glossy. So here's effects right here. Click on that drop down arrow. And glossy is the very last choice right here at the bottom. Third thing is we need to hide the background graphics from the title slide layout. So here is the option right here to hide the background graphics. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you put a check mark in that box. Last but not least, to ensure that the footers do not display on the title slide layout in the master layout group, you are going to remove the check mark from footers. At this point, you should get the lab complete screen. Click next. Click next again. And now we're on to number two. For number two, we have to below the last slide layout in the slide master view add a slide layout with a picture placeholder on the left. Do not worry about the size of the placeholder. Okay, so we have to go into the slide master view. Go to view, click on slide master. Now, we are adding a slide layout but we're adding it below the last slide layout. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you select the very last slide. And now here at the top, you're going to click on insert layout. Now that we have inserted the layout, we can continue with our instructions, which is to add a picture placeholder on the left. 
So in the master layout group, you will see where it says insert placeholder. If you click on that drop down arrow, you will see you have many different options. You're going to choose picture. And then you click on the left side. You will be presented with lab complete. Click next. Click next again. Number three, adjust the current slide layout as follows. Add a text placeholder to the right side of the layout. Then change the font color of the title placeholder to the first available light blue color in the color palette. Do not worry about the size of the text placeholder. So first thing is we need to add a text placeholder on the right side. You have to click on Slide Master, insert text placeholder, click on the drop down arrow. We are going to choose text, click on the right side. Next, we have to change the font color of the title placeholder. Well, font color is something that we dealt with in Word. First thing is we need to select the title placeholder. Well, guys, this is the title placeholder right here at the top. So you click in here first. Now we can go to the Home tab. And here is where we're going to change the font color. Click on the drop down arrow. The first available light blue is this one right here in the first row. Click on that. Lab complete. Click next. Number four. In the current presentation, modify the handout master to show three slides per page. Then make sure the date and the header are being displayed. The header should have the text UAC Sports Exercises. Apply these changes to all slides. Well, the first thing is we need to make sure we go into the Handout Master. So we are already on the View tab. This time we're going to click on Handout Master. And now we need to make sure that there are only three slides per page. So in the page setup group, you're going to see where it says slides per page. Click the drop down arrow and choose three slides. We need to make sure that the date and the header are being displayed. Well, this is also a review from Word. So in order to adjust our date and header, we need to go to the home, um, insert tab. So after we click on the insert tab, you will see header and footer right here. Click on header and footer. Place a check mark where it says date and time. And place a check mark where it says header. And inside of that box, we have to type UAC sports exercises. And we need to type it exactly as it appears including the capital letters. After you type in UAC sports exercises, click on apply to all. Lab complete. On to the final lab for lesson one. In the current presentation, modify the notes master to have arrow bullets on the levels of text. Then set the text size to 14. First thing is, let's go into the notes master view. So click on view in the ribbon. Click on notes master. And then click in the text area. So it's right here at the bottom. Click here. And now we go to the Home tab in the ribbon. 
and we're going to do bullets. And which bullets are we going to do? The ones that look like an arrow. So for the drop down arrow next to bullets, click on it and choose the arrow bullet. We're not done yet. Next, we have to change the font size. So click on the drop down arrow next to the font size and choose 14. So that lab is complete. You're going to click next, finish, finish, and you're going to see that you have 100%. Take a picture of this screen right here. Make sure your name appears in the picture. Make sure the name of the lab appears in the picture and make sure it shows that you got 100%. That will be one of the pictures or screenshot that you will be submitting. Let's move on to lesson two. Now lesson two only has three exercise labs. So let's go into the exercise labs. For you, it's going to say take test. For me, it's going to say retake because this is how many times I've done it already. So I'm just gonna click on retake. And let's go to number one. Change the slide size of this presentation to standard, ensuring that all objects fit on the slides. Then change the slide size of this presentation to custom size of 1610. Again, ensuring that everything fits on the slides. So the first thing is we need to get to the tab in the ribbon that shows us the slide sizes and that tab is the design tab so click on the design tab all the way on the right side you will see where it says slide size click on the drop down arrow and choose standard now to ensure that all objects fit on the slides we need to choose ensure fit click on ensure fit the second part is to now change the slide size to a custom size, a custom size of 1610. So one more time, click the drop down arrow under slide size. Choose custom slide size. And for the drop down arrow under slides sized four, you are going to choose, let me scroll so that you can see it, on screen show 1610. Click OK. And one more time, choose Ensure Fit. Lab complete. Let's go to number two. Set this presentation to have the words sports and exercises as tags. Then display all available properties and add the word exercises as the category. Select the Enter key on the keyboard when done. So in order to complete this, we need to go into our backstage view, which is a review from Word. In order to get into our backstage view, you need to click on file. So we are officially in the backstage view. And where I want you to look is on the right hand side, you'll see where it says properties. And if you just look down right about here, you'll see the word tags and to the right of it, you'll see where it says add a tag. So click there. And I want you to type the word sports, all lowercase. Next, you are going to, on your keyboard, hit the semicolon button. Now a semicolon, for those of you that may not know, is the character that has a period at the top with a comma just below it. That's a semicolon, guys. So click on a semicolon button on your keyboard Hit the space bar on your keyboard and type the word exercises. Next, scroll down. Do not hit the space bar afterwards, okay? Scroll down. You will see the link that says show all properties. Click on that. Now you will see where you can enter a category. So click add a category and type the word exercises and hit the enter key on your keyboard. Now we are on the last one for lesson two. Let's click next.
Let me scroll back up, click next. And for our final exercise lab that you need to complete for this week, the question reads, using the exhibit as a guide, indicate which option one would click to see and then arrange thumbnails of the slides in this presentation easily. So basically what it's asking you is, if you wanted to look at your slideshow presentation as little thumbnails, which are little pictures, so each slide looks like a picture, in order to see that, you would need to go under view, and then you would need to click on the slide sorter view, slide sorter. So that would be option two. So here at the bottom, click on option two. Go back up to the top. Click next. Finish. Finish. And now you'll see one more time, you should have 100%. Take a picture of this screen. Make sure your name appears in the picture. Make sure you can see that it's lesson two and make sure it shows your score of 100%. What you're going to do next is you are going to submit both of those screenshots in Teams under the assignment for the PowerPoint exercise labs. I hope you found this video helpful. Please provide feedback. I gladly appreciate it. Have a good one, guys.